Warning, this fucking video is not for kids. <laughs> Give me a beer, you fucking dog. All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people. And this is a request from Anna Matt, and it was uploaded by Electric Dragon 505. And the name of this video is Surfs Up 2 Wave Mania Anti Matt's Classic Reviews. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Previously on Anna Matt's Classic Reviews. What? Honestly, I don't really understand how Sony Animation is just ignoring this film this shit? and prominently featured Penguins. their most recent disasters as examples of their work. I mean, I, never watched I this get show. that it wasn't a hit at the box office, but it is their only film that got an Oscar nomination, and with good reason. I get that they want to stand out from all the other studios, what is this, a but Pixar if they film? ever want to save themselves Disney, from doom it is. and be taken more seriously in the industry, they need to consider looking back at What's, this. Why is there so many Penguin films? Too. I mean, just to look back at what they did right here. What did they do right here? What's up with the hat or the you fedora? Know, it's almost infuriating trying to talk to something that's as dumb as Sony. You got a better they setup than so I do. Much time so trying if. to have a logical and reasonable explanation, trying to explain why you should not do a thing. And then right at the moment that computer that I screen. What is that, Apple? Turn my head back for a second. Guess what they did? What did they do? Am I missing something? Ugh, what the hell? Oh no, is this what I think that, yeah. They put wrestler type if penguins thing or that whatever. I, would say is the best thing, I heard about or this. Even the only good thing to ever come out of Sony Pictures Animation it would have to be their only Oscar-nominated feature, Surf's Up. Surf's Up. I mean, up. sure. Conceptually, it just sounds like a generic animated film about surfing penguins. It's a shit but film, looks like. It actually came out as one of the most unique animated films with its documentary style, on top How? of some great animation. For once, Sony actually made a movie that felt like it was done by real filmmakers who knew what they were doing. No, I say no. But then no. a powerful force stepped in to change the film forever. Uh oh. And his name is John Cena. Oh God, really? He actually came in there. <sighs> yes, when World Wrestling uh, yeah, Entertainment uh, came in, no. they were not satisfied with just embarrassing Hanna Barbera properties. They wanted to just embarrass everything else. To make a sequel to Surfs Up with some of their biggest stars like Triple H, The Undertaker, and that John don't even look Cena like him. So that John Cena the end, penguin looks like Brock Lesnar. Sony creating a surfing penguins movie. With wrestlers. This is fucking Somehow, stupid. Somehow, Sony's stupidity never ceases to amaze me. But even with an that incredibly stupid don't look concept, right. can WWE add in a surprising twist to make can a WWE movie fuck even off? better? Or did Surf's Up stoop low to the levels of the wow. other Sony franchises? I bet that killed it Let's when they did that shit. Out. <sighs> it did pretty bad, so... The story... The more that I think about the story, the more that I realize that this is the same plot as the first film. In uh, the first I don't, surf's up, I don't know the Cody first Maverick film, man. I just don't care. Obstacles, both physically and emotionally, in order to become a renowned this film looks with gay. the mentorship of his idol. In the sequel, however, Penguins. Cody Maverick had to go through many different obstacles, both physically and emotionally, in order to become a renowned surfer with the mentorship of his idols. <laughs> What's the that difference? That thing don't look right. Well. It's all in the execution. Like I, I said at care. the start, what sets the first film apart from all the others is the documentary style. The documentary more style. Of a genuine feeling to both the events that occur in the movie this and to the characters. Show's not really my thing. Sadly, that is somehow taken away here, and now the movie has to be told with the same These narrative penguins are on any roids, other man. animated feature. Not only does it take away the identity Chicken. of Surf's Up, but it also exposes a lot more of the problems. This film kind of creeps me out just looking at it. It's more of your typical underdog tale with many of the same cliches, and one that is completely recycled from its predecessor at that. Fuck also, this. Also, as it is an underdog story, this one is I hate more underdog stories. Where it's all about Always two overcoming the odds. Maverick and the it's been overdone. Fun. I'll get a bit more into them once I talk about the characters. 
But the way that it handles them is that the movie makes it all He looks like he's trying to look like Gal from Street Fighter, except in a penguin to form. Them all to do this crazy impossible surfing task. However, leaving the story in the hands of a bunch of wrestling stars is not really the this wisest This don't decision, rhyme me of no wrestling, period. a lot of questionably dumb choices just to keep moving forward. <sighs> this is my guy. Everybody else has a guy. Their voices. A guy. That's oh, about it. crying out loud. Fine. You can keep your rookies. Is that pumping yeah. fans? It doesn't help either doesn't that they're not of them or look like him, just his voice. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that the comedy is weak as well. Yeah, it looks all weak. All the story did was just copy what the first film did and take away all the elements that made it both good and enjoyable. I'm never going to watch this shit. The yeah. animation. Okay. As it is a direct-to-DVD animated feature, direct to DVD? this was not directly animated at Sony. Instead, it was crafted at Rainmaker Entertainment. Hell the same no, people man. who also made Escape from Planet Earth and the Ratchet and Clank movie. Ratchet and Clank, I With know that, that said, show or game or show, whatever it is these got days. A significant downgrade, even if it was released about a decade after the original. One way that you could tell that the animation is inferior is by the rendering. I'm cringing the looking at this shit. The characters are a lot less smooth, and it even makes the effects less convincing. What is so which fucking is not great good about for a movie that uses a lot of natural elements like waves, lava, clouds, and more. Wave, lavas, However, and drugs. I'm not gonna go after it too much because, again, this was made to be direct to DVD. It and the sucks. budget was a lot smaller than in. I'm sure some little kids would like it. That doesn't mean that the visuals are out of the woods just yet. It there just looks like a Pixar film that come with the feature. In terms of the designs, it's fine that they still use the same looks from the first film for Cody, Lonnie, Chicken Joe. I don't and Tank, know. I just never did watch Penguin shows. Five. The way that they are cartoonishly built is almost as if they were made for an entirely different movie. They I don't know do what they what direction they're going in here. Their voices like the Undertaker, Triple H, Page, and more. They just hired them to go into the voice studio for no reason. It's supposed to be what a muscled up penguin should look like in the movie, but this film exaggerates the muscles like so the much that now they look more like Drake from the Pebble and the Penguin, and even Never putting seen that details one to where it just looks gross. Looks like Gal the Penguin. Fuck this film, man. If I man. have to give some credit to the animation, I will give it that some of the surfing scenes are fun to watch. In a especially desert? Especially with the numerous of surfers included. However, wow. not all of them work. Since it does have a small do budget, this? some of the action scenes do seem like watered-down versions of what the uh, original movie did. Really? The animation isn't really good. Could you at least put a Hulk Hogan is, penguin in here? It's understandable how it ended up this way. They don't remind me of Undertaker. Stupid. The characters. Oh, here we go. Taking away the documentary style in this feature sacrifices a lot more than you would expect. It also makes the characters feel this chick a is lot on less drugs. genuine and relatable, and more like generic tropes, or even worse. Generic drugs. Oh, and uh, by the way, just to get this out of the way, Big Z is nowhere to be found in this movie. Who? Even with a couple Who's of Big name Z? drops, his entire role was replaced by the Hang Five. The also, Hang Five car. It almost feels like the entire movie is deserted. It's All ass. All you see are the four recurring characters, the Hang Five, that annoying seagull, five <sighs> kids, and that's it. This Unless entire Big film Z looks annoying to me. All the other penguins to another island. I have no idea how no other penguin is visible throughout. Somebody this has feature. a penguin fetish. But anyways, that's why they keep making these fucking into films. The recurring characters who are still alive. They follow the same old formula of the role that they play with nothing new added in, like Chicken Joe being the slow mind. He don't look like he movie. belongs in this Lonnie movie. is the skillful girl, and Tank is the villainous jerk. But then you have Cody. Like before, Cody? he plays as the fanboy who dreams of going big as a surfer. I but his care. biggest problem is that he can be debatably more of a dick than the actual main antagonist. Half Who the is time, the main protagonist? It feels like he Hell? just wants to take down Tank more than actually be a member of the Hang Five. This fucking it film is cringe. It's more unlikable when this is supposed to be a movie that's cringe trying ass. to bring a message about teamwork and helping each other out. So and overcome with the odds. Cody looks bad, but also the entire movie unpleasant. This movie's on crack. And then have the Hang Five themselves. And Why I'm they call gonna that? be honest on this one. I have absolutely zero knowledge when it comes to wrestling, and these WWE I don't care about wrestling, man. I don't even more. Wrestling fans. 
So instead of me talking about how these wrestlers are in the movie, they don't belong I'm in a penguin pass movie. This one over to a couple of guys that are more suited for the job. Who? Ladies and gentlemen, from the WrestleCast, Matty J and T Dub. Hey, hi, hello, ladies Who? and gentlemen. This is Matty J from the WrestleCast. And this is TWK of TWK uh, News. Why you got soccer cutting a wrestling promo yeah, when you talk? The superstars of WWE are represented and serves up to. I'd say pretty I good. don't care. Agreed. We have Mr. McMahon being insane. That's as not Vince McMahon. Hunter is an insecure job. That's not Triple Cena H either. That's definitely not Cena. Morally ambiguous. Page Just their voice. Rebel. Although I could do it without hearing that Total Divas theme song during Nikki the Nikki Bella, is that what you say? It? Really? And Undertaker is as creepy as always. And is trying Although to fuck him up, bro. him being so emotive with that voice. A tiny bit odd. Nevertheless, Weird. let's not forget about Michael Cole as the commentating. That's team. Michael Cole. <laughs> Can we talk about what happens to him? No, that That's would be a stupid. spoiler. Dang it. Trust us. It's I don't care, man. I really don't care. Alone. Also, with that hair, he technically has frosted tips. Did somebody kill that penguin there? That reminds me, where's Wave Mania? Yeah, Which, that's a tease. Yeah, where's Wave call Mania? Movie Wave Mania, but don't actually include some sort of surfing extravaganza. I hate this film. Boo! Boo, I say! Anyways, aside from that, everything Just come back to the other guy that talks, you know? Back to you, Animat. Yeah. Even with a new cast Thanks of for wrestlers, listening. the characters are certainly not likable as they used to be in the first film. There, nobody's likable here. Hyperbolic time chair. Oh, never mind. Seriously, sir. I hate that is bird. It really that hard to just leave a movie alone and not desperately force it to become a franchise like all your other pieces of trash? And why insert Sorts wrestling into it, sort Mania of? Mania took what made the original unique and enjoyable and slam it down into garbage. a generically unpleasant movie with a story that lazily copies the first film with no shred of effort, downgraded I know, animation, I don't care. and characters that are either dull or even unlikable. It completely Nobody's likable here. Up into, well, it's a penguin an show. Animated feature by Sony Pictures Animation. Sony My Pictures, okay, not Disney or Pixar, but it still looks like a Pixar film. The first film, because with the sequel where you got a bunch of surfing penguins with wrestlers, it actually is as stupid as it sounds. It is pretty However, stupid. If you are a WWE fan, you might end up more satisfied than not in a wrestling fan. Like Matty J watch. and T-Dub said, at least uh, this movie did do justice to the wrestling stars. But even at that, they don't that's look not like wrestler star. Never mind. As a reward for Sony's stupidity, it easily gets the Animat seal of garbage. Yeah, it's definitely ass on the garbage, list of sequels ass that juice. That shouldn't even exist in the first place. Yeah, they should have never made this film. Three out of ten, damn. That's just for the story. Animation four out of ten. Characters four out of ten. That's pretty low, man. Damn, four out of ten. Hey guys, oh, I thought this it was is over Animat. with. Off by not only it's saying thanks going. to Chris Estrada for his amazing support on Patreon, which allowed that him to film get this sucks, video though. of up too, but also a huge thanks to Matty J and T Dub from the Wrestling Cast for I've never heard of those people, man. On the Everybody, a lot of people cover wrestling film, for some reason still. I don't know why it's gotten so fucking trashy. The wrestling aspect. I don't know. There's barely even in wrestling in this movie. Anyway. Yeah, it's not a wrestling uh, film. It's yeah, just definitely got the voices of some wrestlers in if it. If you guys uh, are wrestling fans as well, not then me. definitely go check these I guys used to out back in the, day. in the wrestling cast. But anyways, going back into Surf's Up 2, I just want to say that while I think about it, it definitely is the most pointless sequel yeah man there was no point for even watching it at the very least one of the most pointless sequels film's because gay the thing when it comes to surf's up 2 is that this is a sequel to an animated film that i never seen the first one or anything about the first one i, mean, I don't think sure, it did get never heard nobody talk about it i believe but nowadays you don't really see people talking about Surf's Up that much. There's ca there's kind of a billion better things out there besides Surf's Up. Don't even know that there's cover even Toy a Story or something. One. Or even people in the wrestling community when they heard all those announcements of the Surf's uh, Up too. I, I remember hearing about the Wave Mania one. I may have talked about it once in a rant video. I'm not uh, sure. I can't so, remember because yeah, I make like, so many videos. You can imagine that there isn't. I just know I know of it though. Demand to go and have a Surf's Up 2 that we definitely need 
more surfing penguins. No, we don't more need more surfing penguins, but the people stop with these fucking jump. penguins. That and also penguin fetish motherfuckers, man. Wrestling aspects. Even if you would want to go and create a sequel to Surf's Up, that was the dumbest fucking idea ever for a sequel. Is a bunch of wrestlers where you have WWE coming in and adding in all their just try to add their like cancer to the fucking the franchises of other things. Triple H. Make, uh, now if it was attitude era, age. it would be a different film. Yeah, just those guys. I, I don't really see the point why they would. And like I WWE said, WWE just trying to expand their trash. Wrestling in this movie in the and now movie, WWE's completely trash. Really I don't want to talk about WWE anymore. The biggest aspect in the marketing <sighs> is the fact that they got those people. So somehow you'd expect having people like Undertaker and John Cena that they would have like some kind of big wrestling match going on. Yeah, nothing but happened in that no, film wrestling wise. On that, they are just there as They're just, just these there. random new characters. They and that was a dumb idea. By anybody, to be honest. Yeah. Like, the Hang Five don't necessarily have to be wrestlers. It could have been Hollywood so, guys. Honestly, it Arnold or. Sell on that I don't know. Account. But then Sylvester again, Stallone. Even though I did state in my review that. The or just don't didn't need, need them at all. Wrestling fans, considering that it is a WWE movie. It's not a WWE movie. I, I'm sure that there are some out there, but at the very it's least, featuring the wrestling voices on the Penguins. Fans, they do not like these movies whatsoever. They don't like the films. That's from stupid. WWE, I already keep saying it. Not even the animated Hanna Barbera ones. So really, it, it really. Why are you sitting like that? For no one. You really don't really? need to show your legs. I mean, you could just fix the camera where it just shows up, like, they you know, from here to there. It's all you need to do. Because what if you accidentally really pop a boner? No one wants to see that. Films with wrestlers, honestly. <sighs> so, at the end of the day, this is just an entirely pointless sequel. Yeah, it's, it's pointless, and, man. What's up with that hand back there doing the Illuminati symbol? On Sony Animation, or is that Spider-Man's? Never mind. It's more on the side of Sony Animation that you got a Mickey really Mouse back there the wizard hat reputation out of this because it really shows that they're just so desperate Do you to have, have a sword a franchise on your they rather dresser want to spend on their money what the hell's up with that Hotel Transylvania film or even on another Why are we still talking about this man the review's over actually developing a movie that would be original something that there's not original about that movie, man. For the of this movie, I've got to fucking drink a lot of beer to try to forget that shit. That Surf's up to too, can suck my dick. On that. It really does reflect on Sony Animation badly. Oh, that God. Not only does it Come on, man. Stop talking about this shit. Debatably, it's time to end it. It also hurts their business, which is why their fate <sighs> is really questionable at this point. Yeah, questionable but anyways, now garbage. That we are finally done with Surf's Up 2 and good Surf's Up 2 can burn in hell. It's now time that we go and move on to the animation hat. Animation oh, and, hat. Uh, one more thing. Uh, if you guys would like to be like Chris and you want to go and get some awesome rewards what the and fuck? simultaneously go and support my work, then all you have to do is go to patreon.com. <sighs> okay. But at the same time, you dragging you it, my like suggest an animated film you would like me to review and I would put onto the animation. Oh, okay. I'll see you what you're talking about. I think. All right. Okay. So you're going to uh, choose who, go what to review and, next uh, from somebody that recommended it. Here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Just right on the tip of my finger. What is it? And the next review shall be... What? What the... Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I've heard... Oh my god. What? Yeah, I've heard of this one. I've, I've uh, definitely heard about this one. Well, what is it? Okay, so... Uh, it's honestly been a while since you gonna I've tell us. been onto this company. Uh, Amblin, to be precise. But the funny thing is, is that they've only done three movies so far. Uh, Tell us. I have looked into one of their original animated films, but now it's time that I'm gonna go back Reveal and look it, bitch. into their other original animated film. Uh, I don't get it. You ain't gonna tell us. Okay, great. So there you go, everyone. If y'all wanna watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. And I'm getting the fuck out of here, so yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I produce message.